What do you mean you'll love women? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video. And today we're here to do more of Bleach Spiritual Awakening. Today we're going to be doing a showcase of Kenpachi. Today's video, what we're going to do, we're going to do a couple levels of PvE on the new chapter we unlocked. We're going to do a few arena matches and potentially a division boss or um, memory path. We will see at the end what we end up doing. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and go over to story. And we're going to see what, what we have to conquer. Because it appears that's the name of the level here. And that sounds fucking awesome. We're not going to use Zangetsu. Um, I think for uh, for good old pal Kenpachi, any, any attack grants 1605. Sounds a lot better. I'm also going to use alongside that. Where is he? Ikaku. Any hit grants 1284. Actually, no. Because what, what does Yamamoto have? Oh, 1605 too. So let's just go ahead and use that. That's a good enough thing for me. That should be able to get us to do a fuck ton of damage. Obviously, Kenpachi's main thing is hit the enemy so hard they don't get back up. <laughs> and with a build that's purely based on doing the most damage possible, and also had the combos that I've, I've seen him have, Three, two, he's going to crush it. Watch one. this. Just watch this shit. Kendo first. Pop this. Step on the enemy. Walk away a little bit. Want to come in? Welcome. To the fuck zone. And it's over. You know, let's just pop Kendo anyway. Why not? Hell yeah. Big slam. And, oh, I should probably redo that one, actually. Didn't realize I needed more. I tried to play around with Yami. I didn't realize I needed more uh, HP. That's the thing. I'm, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and beat him in a second, though. So... Just, just watch this, okay? There's this little little thing you can do here to cheat Three, the system. Two, so Kenpachi, one. he's quite strong. He's a big boy. He has Kendo. Kendo hits the entire screen, does a fuck ton of damage. The main damage of Kendo is in the first couple seconds of it. Um, so if you miss the original and they're dashing through it, it will end up doing not much damage, but Fireworks lets you do your attacks quite often. And by the end of doing all your attack string, um, I actually just lost it again because I guess I fucked up. Whatever, it's fine. If it, um, upon using Kendo, then Fireworks, then second, then first, you should get Kendo back and be able to use it again. And just do the thing over again. If the Ryoku that I have as well, it's just a very good combo and allows me to do a lot of really good shit. Hello again, Yami. It appears that we're dealing with another bit of a fight. I mean, I guess this is canon to, uh, the Hueco Mundo invasion arc, right? That's cool. I mean, he's not quite in the uh, resurrection form. He's also not fighting against Byakuya. But you know, that's just how it goes, I think. Alrighty. That, that one worked out a lot easier. I didn't really fuck around too much. I also want to go ahead and see the benefits for this entire chapter. Because I actually haven't seen what it gives you in general. And that would be very nice to find out about. I also want to find out what the next chapter needs in terms of level. Probably 76. I'm going to assume that. 74, okay. This one gives nothing. 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 I mean, Golden Hokyokus. Nothing. Nothing. I mean, Ryu Ken, I guess. He's not too important. Um, Yami and Yami. No. I'm gonna go ahead. Is this. Is this Shinigami Ishin? Fuck it, let's kill him. Let's just slam Ichigo's father into the ground. It's time to kill the doctor. Also, I want to show off one of Ishin's attacks. because You guys probably don't play the Chinese versions. You probably haven't seen him in action. Um, I want to see him do an attack on me. Particularly one. I want to see his third strong attack. So if I can go ahead and wait for him to do that to me, I'd be really appreciative. There it is. So he conchos you. He jabs you in the butt and burns you for some reason. It makes no sense. But it's great. And I'm very happy about it. Go ahead and pop this. That works out. We're not going to get the entire benefits from it, but it doesn't really matter that much, to be honest. We're good to go. We're not going to get the HP plus 90%, but there's other characters I can use for that that it's far better and will give us far better benefits. So we are happy with what we have. Um, now what I'm going to go ahead and do is now we're going to go ahead and do a couple of arena battles. Um, I actually want to win Ed Kid Pachi. I don't know what I'm supposed to train... Ooh. 
I didn't realize that Genpachi special training is that low. Wow. Let's get that shit done right now. Bah. Okay, we're gonna continue from last time. Um, I don't actually remember where we were. Pretty sure we're about to do PvP with Kenpachi um, in the showcase, but it's been three days since I last recorded. Whoops. I had to do special training and uh, got a little carried away, got Kenpachi up, and I was like, you know who you'd be good, good on a team with? Sajin. Well, that sounds good. What about uh, Momo? So I decided to make a team of some of the weirdest combination of things you'll probably ever see. So let's go ahead. We're going to take these guys out of the team. Go ahead and take these guys. I don't even know where they are. Power list. There we go. Um, so we're going to have in the front of everything to show off this kit showcase. Then Pachi. Then we're going to have Sajin. Then we're going to have Momo Hinamori. Our power is about the same as the enemy. However, they have far better characters. But the, the potential for Sajin and Kenpachi to tank through everything is insane. Ugh. Pickups. Insane. Three, so two, we will go ahead and be hopeful one, that we can tank every bit of damage that ever comes against us. It actually seems to be working. If I can get a uh, Kendo off, it'd be great. That's our best case scenario right now. Also, it's only, it's only Ichigo left, by the way. And we can tank Ichigos. Definitely. <laughs> We got a Kendo off. Holy shit, we actually won. That is insane. Wow, that's actually really crazy. I actually got the chance to win that. I'm surprised. And hey, we won a treasure too. That's cool. Um, what if I, I kind of want to replace Momo with... Okay, look, who has the highest HP? So you have a million. Million. Well, million, million point about two. Million, um... 85, 91. We're, we're gonna go ahead and toss Zangetsu on this team, I think. I think that would actually be good. Um, instead of Momo, she's just kind of there, right? She has her own showcase coming soon. Um, in a weird way. You'll, you'll see, you'll see. But for now, we're gonna put Zangetsu in the back to have us have it as a backup. We're gonna have the tankiest team in potentially the entire game, and we're going to see how this works. I'm very, very excited for this, because I actually think this could be a good team. Outlast the enemy. Crush all of them. No matter how much damage you do to me, I can do the same amount, kind of, and be okay. Also, Zangetsu's interruptions. We're doing a Mugetsu. He'll end up doing a lot of work during, and just works out really well. However, we seem to be losing a little bit here. Oh, they spawned a Sero, too. Zangetsu, pop your third. Pop your third. Pop your third. Do it. It's a good thing we added Zangetsu to the team. It is definitely a very good thing we added him, because that was actually perfect. He used his his second, which picked them up. He was they weren't able to do anything, and then he just crushed them right there and then. What a good boy! What a, what a what a good ass boy! Ichigo in the front is actually going to make this not too terrifying. However, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to swap Sajin to the back because Sajin has more full screen, while Zangetsu seems to be better in a mid position. Let's go ahead and try that. Kenpachi staying in the front. Um, Kenpachi in the front seems to do his kick, first of all, and the kick seems to be very, very helpful towards what we're doing. That works out. Show me the money. You got this shit. Okay. Okay. And is that the enemy or mine? Or, or mine? I can't tell. Doesn't even matter, because we got 10 Ken off. That was the first slam. There's two that happen, and it hits the entire screen for the most part. Well, anyone in front of him. But most people will be in front of him for PvP. This is actually working. This team is actually pretty good. Apparently, tanks work out. Never would have expected that. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and face this guy. I'm going to adjust my chair. We're going to get ready to crush the big puss right now. And then I think that will be the end of this episode because we have learned that Kenpachi is actually a beautiful boy that has amazing potential. However, Yamamoto is still super fucking broken. And Soy Fawn's nuke is always a scary thing. Well, I guess we learned some stuff here, right? We, we kind of got to establish somewhat of a a thing where you're like, oh, Yamamoto's probably going to crush this team because the burn works really fucking well. Also, we got division bags now. Uh, the, we're, we're in my division. Now we, now we have that going on. 
I have stuff to claim and shit, so it's, it's always good. I'm trying to get the AP up right now. I'm at 2,000 for today, and I just want to keep on increasing it until we're good to go. So yeah. Um, however, that's me in the showcase. Thank you for watching. Um, Kenpachi, really, really good as a tank in PvP. Uh, he's good with, with mixed with other characters or in the front to tank all the damage from, for example, soy fawns or something like that before a big explosion of damage starts. Um, he's he's good at comboing. Uh, third, second, first, second, first. Incredible. Incredible amounts of damage. He, if you stack attack as well, he'll basically crush entire levels in a second. Um, however, he doesn't change between ranks. So it... He, Logically, we could say that he changes at rank 10, but this actually doesn't change at all, just except for the damage. So I'm going to say he doesn't change until, or from rank 6. Um, from rank 6, the attacks kind of stay the same, and in general, he doesn't do very much work. He's, he's not even the high, like very high on my power list, to be honest. Um, he's below Konami, and this is also about training up as well, so it, it's kind of... Eh. He also has one more power been rank 13 soy fawn, but rank 13 soy fawn is of course incredible so yeah i'm pretty sure he has the power due to his high hp average but he's not that great of a character in general that's my perspective on things and in the next episode of things we're gonna be doing a showcase on the one the only shunsui the boy everyone cares about the hero of the hour no rank 13 and after that we're gonna have a little bit of a surprise for now, we're good to go. Thank you so much for watching. Please have a good day. Because you kind of deserve it, man. You've, you've had a rough one, right? Woo!